Hey guys, welcome back to another episode by Stoby. Well, the last episode we built this, uh, these castle walls, and um, this episode we're gonna fill it with some stuff. So the, I think the the coolest thing to time lapse. Do you agree? Would be the the uh, dry moat that I mentioned. Yeah, I think we're gonna as, now. as well as um, this gate. So um, we are. I'm going to produce this video a bit quickly, so I think we should uh, immediately get to it. Lovely, so we've got a moat, and um, we also constructed this part of the gatehouse. This, um, so there's a portcullis here, but we've also got a drawbridge, um, because obviously what is a moat without a drawbridge. So this end does seem to abruptly end a little bit, so I'm just going to smooth it out a smidge. Anyway, this seems pretty defensively strong, and then there's like... A uh, little bit of a staircase coming up here to the uh, to the port palace. I'm gonna just take a look over here. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. All these stripped logs look pretty cool as like a port palace housing. So I like how this is like half open and half open, and that's like it gives it a bit of life, a bit of motion. If it's like halfway through doing something. Now the uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put uh, two buildings in here. We're going to do a, a a nice watchtower here, so a big circular building that comes up and can just peek up over the walls. And then over here somewhere, probably quite close to the edge of this wall, so we can use all this flat land over here. We're going to have like a what would you call it? Maybe a guard house, probably. Either a guard house or like a barracks. So it's like an area to train soldiers and house them. And then we'll have a path coming down. And this is going to be the secret entrance to the keep, which we're going to construct in the next episode, where we're like going to finish this off. Because obviously two buildings will not build this out, so we can have some trees, some paths, and um, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, for now, I think a, a lovely jump cut to some buildings would be very good. We have returned once more, and we have built two buildings. First of all, we'll check out the watchtower, because why not? Inside, it's very plain, and um, it just goes up, and you can see over the walls. That's the purpose know, of it. Look straight at the footpath. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, well... Like, if it was up, you, there would still actually be quite a good view, but... Yeah. It's not, it's like half down, so... Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's pretty nice, and the, um... The bubble coral is a is a nice detail in there. Um, yeah, so that's done. Now over here we have our barracks. The first guy um, is quite cool. We've got, yeah, um, got the first arm standing. Got an there. archer shooting at a target with an arrow. Not quite oh, a bullseye. Almost on the bullseye. He's so close, but uh, okay, if we quite. hop inside here, we can see we've got some blank arm stands because. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to use them. So I've got a bunch of arms and stuff. things. Let me so the first the thing I'm going to do, and um, it's quite cool. But uh, I think we should get to arm standing. Off we go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these clothes that my inventory because they're stopping it. So the first guy is going to be this guy. This is going to be a commander commanding this guy, who is going to be wearing armor. I think he's wearing a normal reflective head, but that might change if Toby wants to bring a different head. No, that's absolutely fine. And then I'm going to have a grindstoning guy over here. This guy probably shouldn't be wearing leather when you're grindstoning, and his head's not backwards. Well, I would say the eye patch and he's guy. And he's holding be a sword. This guy. I would think the eye patch guy would surely be the grind grinder. Right. Just turn the armor stand. So the first thing is easier. we need this 
stack you need this book this book is a data pack which you can get on vanilla tweaks it's called the armor stands and you download it and then you put it in the data packs folder that is part of the world save there's yeah. a folder named data packs you pop it in and then you call a book is it statues yep yeah. St uh, it has to have junk you inside. You put it. random jumble inside and then you name it statues and it turns into this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to a armor stand and you want to hit check target. This is just basically, it gives it the glowing effect. So it tells you that, now the um, the armor stand you put to like, say I'm standing here and I hit check, check target, it's going to select this one. Because it's whichever one I'm the closest to, it's Your not feet. where I right click. So oh, if yeah. I stand here and right click there, it's still this one because it's where you're standing, not where you right click. I think it's specifically your feet that it that's important. Mm -hmm. So if you want to so let's say I want so let's say if I go here, if I go this side, I'll be changing you, but if I go here, hopefully, yeah. I'm changing him. So that's just how you do them if they're really close proximity. So what are the two most important things you have to do with armor so stands? Next page, um, show base plate, show arm, small stand, apply gravity. So apply gravity, um, will it fall when it's floating? Stand visible, so if I actually, um, let's go over here. This arrow is an action armor, oh, I need to unlock this, it's great. Unlock. That's done it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so show so if I go stand visible, yes, you can see that this is actually an armor stand holding an arrow. It's and then the arrow is in the target. But if you then make the armor stand invisible, it looks like the arrow is just sticking in the target. Which is very, very nice. So and then we want to always um, if you want to lock it, when you lock it, it just means that it um has less lag. And it also means that if someone comes along and like punches it or walks into it or like does armor stands near it or a creeper blows it up, it will be completely unaffected and it will just stay as it is. Now this guy's quite smart because this bow is actually a separate armor stand to himself, and that means so that we can you've get got it this a lot guy, more which is so you got this arm, this arm, and this head and the body, which is one armor stand. And then this bow is. There you go. Another armor stand. And if I show it, you can see it's another armor stand, like floating within him. Yes, it's a bit. Which aims the bow. That looks a bit weird, but um, that's how it's done. So I do stand again and lock it. Lock it. Next. Okay. Um. So. so here we're gonna go for now. This guy is just gonna be standing to attention, so we're going to show arms, and we're just gonna use one of the presets. We're going to use attention, which is the very first one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna move him up, and I'm gonna move him towards my select. So we want to nudge him like a little bit because he's li a little bit in the wall. Like merged into the wall, and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna shift oh, okay. them along That's a little, perfect. That's perfect. and we don't want to see the base plate. This is this little stone bit here, and you just want to hide that. And then I'm gonna lock this guy. Cause what does salute look like? Actually, you know what? We'll do a bit of experimentation. What does uh, salute look like? Right. I'll unlock it here. I know. Done. Whatever. It's all salute. right. We've got a bit of time till the end of this video. All right. Salute. Looks like that. That is salute, and I think that looks better, so I'm going to lock him like that. Yeah. So this is the first guy done, now this commander is going to be a little different because I'm not going to use one of the presets. Okay. So first thing, we want to show up, and we want to turn off this base plate. I can click that. We also so, uh, want to slide him across a little bit so he's not in the wall. Yeah. And what was it? It was two pixels across, wasn't it? Nope, wrong way. Yeah, so you need to go minus three, and that'll do it. Okay. Yep. Yep, there you go. Right. And then I want to go he like to go like there, that's good. And then I want to aim his left arm towards my head. Which is the wrong arm. No, that's perfect. Alright. 
and that looks like he's spamming him. Oh. So I'm good with that one, and I'm probably going to, and I'm going to lock. Now oh, this guy, I'm probably going to have to use two. One for the sword, one for him. No, you can have him holding the sword. But first, we're going to show on. We're um, going to give, give him the sword. So you just right click it and it gives you the sword. I'd swap his hand as well. I also swap it into his first hand. thing, we need to do adjust rotation. So we're going to set it to 45 degrees. And it doesn't really matter which way we do it because we're just flipping around 180. And we're just going to very slowly. I don't know how you did it. Flip him around. Well, that's quite cool actually. And there we go. Yeah, that sword so needs swapping hand. Now hands, we need to it? remove the base plate. Swap his sword hand. Sword hand. So you can go from main hand to off hand, like so. And then I'm probably going to totally move. Tilt his arm. Move. I'm going to tilt his arm. So that the sword is pushing the grindstone. So I want to go, I think, this arm. Nope. Nope, wrong arm. That's fine, you can have both of them. I'm just lazy, just there's no point in going back. Left arm towards my feet. Actually, like he's grindstoning. Oh no, it's the hand. No, you need to, no, do it again. Do it again where you're standing. And I should do it right. Um, or I could just push it down a little. Oh, I suppose. So, left arm minus Y. That's. Oh not... no. Yeah, because on these, the X, Y, and Z is actually weirdly messed up. It's like not in the correct. So, way. basically, it's just mostly trash. And now. But there you go. Looks like he's now sharpening the sword on the grindstone. And I'm actually quite happy with that guy, so I'm going to lock him. Yep. So Maybe make his head tilting him. downwards. Oh yeah, he's looking, he's looking a bit into the middle distance. Yeah. Just looks like he's looking off into the wall and mm. like he's seeing something. So you want to have it so that his head is Don't pointing towards your feet, I would say. No. No, oh, I just clicked something random. I oh, he moved his leg. I moved his leg. Yeah, that's certainly what I want to do. Oh, pointing. How do I... Can I just... Oh. Wrong leg. <laughs> now it looks like he's dancing. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of just... It's quite a lot of trial and error. To be honest. Nope. <laughs> that's the wrong way. Now it's even worse. <laughs> oh, this is great. You can make them do the weirdest of That'll things. That'll do. Nope. Now it looks like he's need to wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. He's doing a bit of a dance. Whatever, that's good enough. That is... That's alright. He looks like he's just like leaning against the wall, doesn't it? You don't move True. him and he's like leaning against the wall. And he's also no, now staring into the wall, so I'm probably just going to do... Yeah, do head pointing towards feet. No, no actually, I'm not like... going to do... Now, with the head, if you do pointing head towards, it points the top of the head. Because the head take is... Hat on off, a, take his hat on off. Take his hat off. So, look, take his hat off. So, the head the, is a stick. This top pixel here is the thing that it points towards, not So, what front. you want to do is, if he gets off, um, I hop up here, and I want his weird pixel head to aim towards my feet and then he'll just look down a smidge that's it that's it that's oh. perfect yep that's fine there we go perfect and also i need to lock him yep and then if we lock him that's all our arms done that's all the arms done so so we've got this guy getting commanded we've got this guy grinding his sword and we've got this one um shooting a bow and arrow and that is all the guards. And we've got some even and we've even got Death Base. We've got real even guards. Even more guards. But uh, I think we need to end the episode here. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you love this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the video. And adios.